Hey guys, welcome back. We're coming at you live from E3. We're in the PlayStation E3 booth. And look at who we found here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no less than Mr. Shuhei Yoshida himself, president oh. of PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. Big, big show for you, sir, and all your teams. Uh, I mean, my goodness gracious, whether it was God of War, or whether it was Spider-Man, or whether it was Horizon Zero Dawn, The Days Last Gone. Guardian, one thing after another. I mean, we got Farpoint, we got this, we got that. We got uh, Here They Lie, which I, I think looks great. One game after another. Biggest show yet. Yep. Yeah, I say so. And I'm so relieved that there are so many people involved to make each one oh, of the yeah. games. Oh, yeah. And so, so long that you know, they've been working toward this you know, moment to announce the title. And everyone who are involved in, this, in these games looks so happy after the show. Uh, and I'm, I'm so relieved. <laughs> so what did you think of the actual press conference, you know, the, the live orchestra and, and all of the, the, the you know, the razzle-dazzle, so to speak. What did you think of all that? It, it was amazing. Yeah? Amazing. The sound of the orchestra, oh, my. music, and uh, that was synced to the what's going on in the live demo. I was so impressed and I was so happy. Yeah, and even uh, your old pal Hideo Ko Kojima is, is, yes. is coming back. He's got a new game. That was a surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> can, can you shed some light on what exactly it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, it involved a naked man <laughs> and, a, and a, holding and a, ghost a, baby. Baby. And a baby. ghost baby and it's, some fish involved. Yeah. Right. It's, it's very Kojima. Yes. It's very straightforward. It's yeah. really what it comes down to. And here's Bear McCree. McCree he's doing uh, this. Uh, the, he's composing the score for for God of War. We're seeing this. This is some of this uh, footage that we saw the last night at the press conference. Oh, we can't forget Days Gone. We haven't heard from Ben's studio in a yep. while, so I was yep. happy to see that. Yeah, yeah. I know Colin Moretti is going to be very <laughs> Oh, happy. he'll be very delighted for this, yeah. yes. And, uh, I mean, just, just a great show. So uh, congrats to, uh, to you and all your teams. I mean, I Thank think it, it really was uh, something special. Something special. Were there any, were there any uh, uh, favorite moments from the show for you personally? Um, I was the original, one of the original producers of Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, so oh, when yeah. we announced it, and the reaction from the audience was enormous. Yeah, I finally that moment, to... And I got the 10,000 retweet of the tweet. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if people noticed that there's a the shadow of uh, yeah. Sean Layden, you know, walking yes, yes. Crash Bandicoot. So <laughs> I suggested in rehearsal, to Sean that you should walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean was like, no, no, my I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. I know, uh, uh, Shu, that, that VR is mm. very important to you. Yep. You've been a big supporter of VR in general. Yep. PlayStation VR looking better than ever. The games are really starting to, to come now. Batman Arkham VR. We've got Farpoint, which I'm dying to try. That's the, the alien planet one. Um, just, that, that's an amazing experience. Yeah. yeah. A anyone, everyone who is on the, you know, at the show, uh, I recommend to try Farpoint with a new aim controller. Inside the game, even before you start walking, you feel the big gun in your hand. It makes you really connect to the world. Yeah. yeah, that experience really paid off too when we were chatting with people on the floor yesterday. Yes. After they did the demo, they came out and everyone's raving about Farpoint, the way the, the set looks when you walk in there, and then to get that controller in your hand and the way it's shaped and the ease of, of switching out the weapons, everyone's been really blown away by that. I'm a, I'm a sucker for sci-fi too, so I really yeah. like the concept behind that one. And uh, we also have uh, Here They Lie, Mm -hmm. which is a, a new title coming from a new studio, Tangentleman, yep. Yep. Uh, composed of a lot of, uh, honestly, like industry veterans. Yep. Some, of the, some of the top folks in the biz yep. are really excited about VR. Yep. I mean, they they were on the show, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we yeah. had him. It was, Corey was on the show. Yeah. Had a wonderful chat with him about designing yeah. horror for VR. You know, and, and, and you know, it, it, when you're coming at VR development, you have to have a different perspective on it. You know, it, it isn't, okay, I want to make a scary game in VR, so I'll just do jump scares. I mean, people, I mean, that's a, that's a difficult uh, experience for people. You know, you have to be a little bit more subtle sometimes with some of this. So I thought that was very interesting. I think here they lie. Big standout for me at the show, even though we haven't seen a lot. The concept sounds great. Unbound is so beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. Because it's vector-based graphics. Oh, really? It looks so beautiful in VR. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, it's be already beautiful on playing on the regular TV, but in VR, you feel like all the world is, you know, surrounding you. And it, it works really well in VR as well. So it's going to be one of these, you know, launch titles 
uh, for the PSVR. I know Justin is uh, passionate about VR. Tell, tell us what you've been uh, what you've been seeing and, and digging at the show here. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to go out there and play any any games uh, because we've been doing the show. But uh, I'm really hoping after we wrap up today that I can go check out that Batman Arkham VR. I'm hearing yeah, yeah. great things. Yeah. Greg Mina tweeted it's his personal game of the show. Wow. Really? <laughs> wow, Batman Arkham VR. Yeah. Game Apparently of the show. Wow. he likes uh, superhero yeah. things. <laughs> That's I, awesome. Um, I still haven't had a chance to check out Rigs. Oh, yeah, yeah me neither. I really want to play Rigs. Yeah, we got to yeah. talk about Rigs for a minute here. I mean, this is coming, obviously, from Gorilla Cambridge, uh, looking better and better and better every time we see it. Uh, it's sort of mech battles, but, you know, carefully tuned uh, for VR. So I'm really looking forward to that one as well. Um, here, here we got some new footage of this. We, we just got a new build in uh, earlier in the show. We're checking this out. We had those guys by. Carboni was talking with them. But it's looking really cool. I mean, I could see myself playing this one for a, a long time. Like, I love these kind of classic arena-based multiplayer shooters in VR. I think it's going to be a great fit for that. And yeah, it's so great because this was one of the you know first VR titles that we really got to hear about. And yeah. to see it transition and what we're seeing now yeah. oh, and get yeah. the feedback from it, and I mean, it's, a, just, it's so great. They've got a, a new arena that they're mm -hmm. showing off in Nevada. Yep. Yeah. So uh, hey. holds a special place in my heart. That's right. Yeah, there you from. go. That's right, Mr. Vegas. Um, but yeah, looking terrific. I mean, it, it is it is so fun and gratifying for me. I'm sure it's the same for you, Shu. Yep. To see games, you know, they look good when you get them announced, but as they get closer to launch, they really start to come together. Rigs, when I play, uh, the five minutes match is like, uh, like this. You yeah. Know, it, it finishes so quick. You yeah. Know, I'm so sucked into the game. So a personal highlight for me, uh, moving yeah. on from VR, was you got a chance to try out this cool game from David O'Reilly called Everything. <laughs> right? Everything is. <laughs> Everything is coming to PS4, right? That's right, everything. And, uh, so everything. you are talking about everything coming to PS4 on the broadcast. I was listening to, what? Every, every, <laughs> everything is coming. We finally I knew, locked I knew, it in, everything. I knew PS4 was popular, but I, I wasn't expecting look, look everything crazy, is coming. Look at this coming. crazy game up here. Yeah. Dave. And so, so when I saw the list of the show for, the, for your livecast, I, I was like, I have to join this session. What? So I joined everything session yesterday. And uh, I was looking at this game, and uh, <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so mind-blowing. It's a game where literally everything in the game's universe is playable, yep. whether it's a tree, whether it's a deer. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really kind of wild. Yeah, you can Whether be, it's you can... That, that special surprise that they had lined up for you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I guess when, when you have a game called Everything, you have to truly have everything in it. Yep. And, and, and that would include yourself, actually, Shuhei. Yeah, so I am a thing in yes. everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, one of the many things in everything. And uh, th that, was, that was a really awesome moment. So what was going, yeah. what, what, what was going through your head uh, when, when, when I that was, was revealed? When I was watching myself, right? <laughs> what was yeah. going through all of those I, heads? I, I was talking to them, actually. I was talking, asking you know, one of them, you know, take, Take, take care of what I have to do so that I can go and play games. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, one of the things that's so interesting in everything is that uh, uh, the, the, these various things can uh, reproduce, actually. Mm. And they sort of do this dance, right? Is yep. that how it works? Yeah, you can create you know, multiple you know, instances of anything <laughs> in the game, and uh, you can create a you know, formation for these things to like a dance around like this. <laughs> <laughs> And you can go from the very tiny, tiny microscopic view to yeah. this whole universe, like uh, 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 No Man's Sky scale. So, and that's what Anthony was saying, what was so great, is then if you're out in the universe, yeah. when you come back down to yeah. where you started, everything has changed because yeah. time continues on. Yeah, it's so, it's so everything's so seamless. Yeah. All of these all of these Shuhei heads that we're seeing here, are these on the microscopic scale or are these on the galactic scale? They look galactic uh, to me, yeah. but uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but then you can bring it size to any, any scale. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, want, I like to think, you know, they say the universe may be infinite. I like to think that at some far distant corner of it, that there is, in fact, a, a galaxy that looks like this. You know? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. I, I love these formations. So. Yeah. <laughs> I could look at this all day. Yeah, yeah. It's um, so funny. Shuhei, have you had a chance to check out the uh, the Watcher from Horizon Zero Dawn yeah. that's been wandering around? Oh, yeah, so yeah. I, I, I so wanted to take pictures with it. Yeah. But it, it was so aggressive, you know, oh. it was scaring all the people. Yeah, so. it'll run up to them. Yeah. Scare them. Yeah. I got to crazy. interview the Watcher yesterday. We <laughs> yes. actually did an interview. Um, got to find out if it gets if it gets tired of watching and, uh -huh. and what oh, it likes that, to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There he is. Did, did, yep. did it create some sound? It does. It yeah. not only does it create sound,
down, yeah. but it rises up and it Ooh. shakes its head and it does uh. a ton of different types the, the, the of. The uh, color of its face changes when it gets angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. My understanding is uh, the, the the team that worked on this. There were some some really high level folks involved. It was. Uh, one of the consultants was uh, uh, a studio that Guillermo del Toro was somehow involved with. Oh. So, I mean, I think, it, you know, some, some really top quality went into building this thing. I know Gorilla was, was very involved with building it. So, you know, it really shows. It's a, it's a really gorgeous uh, costume. It's been very popular on the Twitch feed as well because some of the watchers where that blue light is, it's actually the lens. Yeah. So it's looking oh, yeah. out at people uh, as yeah, they're yeah. interacting the, with the them. Yeah. yeah. And it's rigged so up to record cool. video too. Yeah. So I think yeah. we'll be seeing some of that oh, a little man. bit later. But yeah, we actually published a cool video last night yeah. of uh, Guerrilla Games meeting this thing yeah. for the first time. Yeah, I tweeted. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good yeah. stuff there. So uh, yeah, the watcher is another highlight for me. Um, geez, I mean, there's just so much to talk about. I mean, uh, and the interactive trickle. The oh, yes. that's thing. So, I mean, that's that's actually something I did yeah. want to touch on was the Last Guardian. Yeah. So we have a date. It's a real thing. It's coming out in October here in the U.S. It's coming. <laughs> October 25th. People played it. It's October 25th. Happening. It's on my calendar. People have played it. I have not tried it. I'm going to try and sneak in before the show ends to try and get some hands on time with it. But it, it it's happening. It's the happening. Last Guardian is, is yep. coming. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's real. Yep. And uh, one of the things uh, we, we saw in the trailer uh, that ran at the press conference was there seems to be another Trico. No, 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 you have some double vision. No, yeah, no, double yeah, vision? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I saw yeah. something there. I don't know yeah. what that thing was. You but. have to look it back. Okay. And there is actually okay. another <laughs> trickle-like okay. thing that I don't know what it is. I want to know what's going on there. Yeah. I, I got to know. It's slightly aggressive to me. Yeah, that's yeah, what, that's what the, I, that was the vibe I was doctor. getting there. So, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah that, they were showing off some really cool new stuff with like different ways that uh, the boy can interact with Trico yeah. and yeah. how that all works. Yeah, I, I was watching uh, journalists play uh, uh, through the uh, opening section of the game, and uh, they are so excited. They, they are a long line of journalists waiting to play The Last Guardian. So you're a well-connected guy. What else are you hearing about the show in general? What are, what are some top picks that people are talking about? Uh, yeah, so well, every year, you know, we have uh, uh, like a demo exchange with the other VR companies like Oculus, and uh, yesterday I uh, got to uh, uh, meet uh, Jason Rubin. He's oh, uh, yeah. head of the content, the whole content, not just game studios, but the uh, videos and entertainment content. And he let me in and try a new game from uh, Insomniac so that you use the Oculus Touch and you use the hand to throw oh, yeah. magic balls. It, you know, it was really fun. Insomniac's yeah. keeping busy these days. Yeah, they really yeah. are. And I just played the Zelda, new Zelda oh, game, yeah. you know, open world <laughs> and hunting. And uh, I, 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 I had a bizarre feel of, you know, this feels like a Horizon. And, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah? This is an epic, huge game. I can't wait to play Zelda game when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. Speaking of Insomniac, I just I want to know more about Spider-Man. Yeah, what can you tell us about the Spider-Man game? Uh, yeah, so the <laughs> tell people, me everything. people are talking about Sucker Punch. Yeah. Being a Spider-Man, <laughs> so we are like, hmm, people's gonna be surprised. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. So it was great to see the reactions, you know, uh, from the people watching the show when the Insomniac Games logo came up and the Marvel game, you know, logo came up. And uh, see, showing the scene of the, it started with showing the New York scene, and uh, when the Spider-Man came up, uh, yeah, right there, ah, that shot, right there. Oh, yeah. so good. Yeah, I was cheering. I was like, I was underground, like getting blog posts prepared during the press conference. But I cheered when <laughs> Spider-Man appeared on the screen. I, I got to say too, a, this looks excellent overall, and b, I think it's my favorite Spider-Man outfit by a mile. I agree. Yep. It yeah. looks great. I love People the white are accents. Talking about why this Spider-Man has the white. Yeah. Hair. I love I it. Love though. It. I, I think it's super fluid. Yeah. It looks, All this the, looks great. The, the combat looks so fluid yeah. and seamless. It looks like Insomniac is putting a lot of love into this, which is something that Insomniac is. I mean, they, they, that always comes through in their games. We had those guys on the show earlier, and I mean, you couldn't find a bigger set of Spider Man fans to make this game. They've been wait. It's almost like they're saying this has been a pent up desire of ours for like 20 years. <laughs> so uh, that's great to see that kind of stuff. Only at E3, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so, so what else is going on, guys? Shuhei, what else is, uh, what's the talk of the town out there? Uh, we talked about PSVR, we talked about new games we announced. Uh, hmm. David Cage. David Cage, yes. So, yes. so I want to I talk about this game for a second, this Detroit Become Human. Yes. Uh, so first of all, we had David on the show uh, yesterday, and very smart guy, very smart guy. And it's uh, just so interesting that, that, you know, we were talking about how Narrative seems to be a big theme at E3 this year. Mm -hmm. You know, just these games, you know, whether it was 
Days Gone, mm -hmm. whether it was God of War, whether it was this one or that one, uh, narrative is really coming into the forefront. I think it's a big theme alongside VR, and I think the two kind of are very compatible with each other. Yep. So tell me about what you've seen on Detroit. Yeah, so this theme of uh, you know being an android and the dilemma of the android you know becoming so close to human, or in some cases you feel android is more human. So that's a plot. I think the you know you always play the side of the android, and the game is making you to feel empathy yeah. with the android characters that you play, and you have to confront with the things happening to you uh, or the android that the rules set by the humans. So you have to make choices, yeah. and your choices change the story in the game. So that's, that's, that's really topical to this world of you know, AI and Android and VR. And even and immigration, that was one of the things I was thinking mm -hmm. about a lot as I talked with David yeah. Cage, because he said these androids are filling roles like you know, babysitters and nurses, mm -hmm. and you know, they're teachers, or this, they're this, they're this, but people don't treat them like they're human. You know? yeah. The humans are kind of the bad guys in, in this game. And I was like, boy, this is, this is very topical. Like, this is really making me think. Um, I, and I love the sort of neo-noir look of it. And, and I love the, uh, I mean, the visuals are spectacular as yeah. they always are in a Quantic Dream game. And but, this, this one scene, you know, you can see how so many different yeah. outcomes yeah. You know, I thought it was amazing the way do. that they illustrated that by yes. showing all the different scenes and the different ways it could play out. Yeah, Quantic yeah. Dream guys took the you know, reactions from uh, people to their you know, prior games to heart, and uh, people really liked the bending story nature of the heavy rain. Right. And they are pushing it so hard this time, so that you really make the story. You know, yeah, so yeah you it's so much more in-depth than just like a choose-your-own-adventure, you know? Yeah, like yes. it's all of your choices have you know, reactions and all your actions have consequences. And so it's really, you know, you have to really think about what you're doing in that game. Yeah, they're just taking that concept that they explored in Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls and just pushing it even further. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, did you, uh, you remember that, that, that video that Quantic Dream put out three or four years ago, Kara? Yep. Remember that? Yep. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I talked to David about that and I said, there, there's a relate, there, these are related, because one of the characters in this game is called Kara. Yep. And he said, actually, he wrote this short story, they were doing some technology testing, mm. and people were really passionate about this video. And so people said, well, what happens after she leaves the factory? So that's kind of where this game came from. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. It's really cool. Absolutely. Well, Shuhei, uh, always a pleasure to catch up with you, my friend. I hope you have a lovely E3. It's the final day. I hope you get out, get out there, play some games if you haven't already. Yes, that's my plan. Excellent. <laughs> プレイステーション